Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathDunk.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Math Lines Factors game. Now, the game we're looking at right now is the 20 version. That's the one I'll be reviewing in this video. But also available to play are the uh, these versions up here. And they play all the same, except instead of going trying to make a product of 20, uh, you, on the 72 version, you'll be trying to make a product of uh, 72. Now, uh, the way you'd reach play the other games is you can click on one of these links if you're on the Math Lines Factors game page. Or if you're coming in the side, you can always do a search for Math Lines Factors off our page, off our search page, and it'll bring up these games and you can click, click on the one you want to play. Okay, let's go ahead and click the Start button. And the instructions basically say that you're trying to make a, a product of 20, and the way you do that is if you had uh, 5 in your cannon and a 4 was out in the line, then you'd shoot at the 4 to make 20. Okay, well, I'll go show you how that works, and you'll see how that works in just a second. And this is a game board, and it's zoom this is a zoom like game, and the object of the game is to get rid of all these number balls before they reach the exit here. Now, if they reach the exit, the game is over. If, if you get rid of all the number balls in the line, then you'll be, move on to the next level. Okay, so we're trying to make a... Uh, product of 20, and I've got a 2 in the cannon, and right behind it is a 1, and that'll be the next one up. So I'm looking for a 10, and there's a 10 there. Now if you notice these numbers, they're random colors, so, such that if you this 1 over here is yellow, this is blue, and there's a green one, there's a black one. Now, um, and that comes into play um, when you have a coin show up and you hit the coin, and I'll, that should be showing up in a minute, and I'll show you what that does. Basically, it changes the factors, uh, the two factors that make tw 20. Each of those have a, are the same color, such, and what that'll do for you is that um, the one in the cannon is, say, if it's yellow, then the one you need to hit will be yellow. Let's go ahead, I can show you a little trick here. I'm just gonna keep firing, and hopefully it'll make 20. Uh, with a random number that shows up, and then it'll be a space here, and I'll go through and hit the coin. Okay, I hit that, and now I've got a yellow one here, so I know the answer is going to be a yellow one. There we go. It narrows down the possibilities, as you can see, and it helps you out quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't the effect last just for a little bit, so you've got to go fast and use it as quick as you can, and there the effect went away. So, so as far as the trick goes, you kind of got to be careful with that because if you noticed, um, it's kind of risky because I shot a whole bunch and I had a whole whole bunch of uh, added a whole bunch of numbers to the line before I hit the coin. But sometimes it's uh, fun to try and sometimes it, it, it helps you out a lot and you don't it, you end up get hitting the coin before um, you add too many numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and play. There's a coin again. Let's go ahead and do it right. Let's see if I can hit it. Ooh, I'm having a there we go. Got it. Didn't add too many. Wasn't too bad. And now I can go quite a bit faster because it narrows down. Let's see. Ten. There we go. There we go. There's 20. And it tell me out quite a bit there. And it changed back. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this out. Now that, that shows you what happened. I fired mistakenly and it added the, uh, go ahead and throw another one to you, so that adds it to the line. So you don't want to do that, uh, otherwise, because the more you do it, the, the, if you notice it goes further on down the line, quicker, closer to the exit. Now one thing, I've been shooting from out here with my cursor out here. Let's go ahead and shoot that. But if you're really, that's, you can do that uh, if you're good. You may want to if you want to be sure you hit it, you can put the cursor right on the number you're trying to hit, and you'll always get it. And now, you can see here that, okay, the, the coin effect went away, but you can see how that works. And I'm going to go ahead and hit these five. You notice when you have several in a row, um, like these tens, if I, because they're next to each other, I shoot it with a two, they'll all go away. Close to the end here. Now on this level, it's 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 not real. Uh, 
this is the first level, so it's not too bad. Each level gets a little bit more, a little bit harder, and there's um, more number balls added. Let me go ahead and hit that, so you can see how that works. And twenty. Oops, I should have got that. There we go. There we go. I'm looking for a green number. There we go. That's it. And that completes that level. And you can see the next level. A little bit different. Um, the difference here is that you've got this trail going over other trails. In fact, it kind of complicates things. If I shoot there, you can't hit anything because they're underneath there. So uh, that's how you play the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoy playing the game. Hope the videos helped, and thanks for watching.